Where are they? Good Last week, Dave Patterson took his dog Molly for a walk. She jumped into a ditch near his home. When she came out, he says she was covered in what appeared to be oil residue. And she went in last week and came out just black. I was, I was amazed. In November, a BNSF train derailed nearby, which the province says spilled an estimated 8,000 litres of fuel. Patterson, who's lived here for 23 years, says he's since noticed thick oil films floating atop these local waterways. It seems to keep coming. And, uh, I mean, I, I still see the hazardous materials guys over there, so it, there must be something going on. And he's not the only one. This drone operator has been contracted by a local blueberry farmer to survey and record damage. A culvert beneath the highway connects the spill site to the farm. One of his ditches feeds directly into his irrigation pump house. A second ditch that also shows a significant amount of oil runs right down the middle of his property. This week, hazardous material crews were still at the derailment site. Containment booms are still in place and a tarp continues to cover the spill area. Still concerns are mounting that heavy rains are causing potential contaminants to spread. It continues to leak all different colors of substances. Why is it still there? If it was so important to get it out of the rail bed, why is it still sitting here in the bog, what looks to be contaminating further and further every day? In a statement, BC's Environment Minister says the province takes all spills seriously and is monitoring this incident to ensure that the environment is protected. The cleanup won't be finished until we are satisfied that the area is fully remediated. In the meantime, residents are left wondering what the overall impact on their community could be. We haven't been told anything, really. Canada's Transportation Board says the investigation is ongoing. BNSF insists its containment booms are holding contaminants in place and plans to remove soil in the coming weeks. John Hernandez, CBC News, Delta.